next best thing after hot chocolate is hot chocolate cookies, like hot cocoa cookies, whatever. So I saw this recipe on Instagram for Mexican hot chocolate cookies, and they looked so delicious that I thought we have to make this. It's Christmas time. It's officially December. It's that time of the year. So we're going to make hot chocolate, cocoa, whatever cookies. Um, so I found the recipe and I thought I'll just tailor it um, for this, um, for the recipe I want to do, do on my channel. I'm filming on my phone today. So um, yeah, my, my camera is indisposed. So we're just filming on my camera. I got my little red barrette to celebrate Christmas time. That's my oven. You want to preheat your oven to 350, first thing. So we're reverting back to like my first style when we first started um, in this kitchen and I first moved to my apartment. This is kind of the style that we're going to go with just for this video because it's just easier to film with my camera, with my phone. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the wet ingredients. So I'm going to start off with half a cup of uh, maple syrup, you can use agave nectar, you could probably even use coconut uh, nectar. I need to start using coconut nectar because I think it's a little better. Um, so I'm going to do a half a cup. The original recipe that I saw said two thirds a cup, but I'm just not feeling it. You know, it's just, that's a little bit too much because we also have a quarter cup of sugar as well that we're going to add. Um, this is actually less than a quarter cup, but um, I'm just using maple sugar. You guys know I love maple sugar. You can use date. You can use organic cane sugar. You can use whatever unrefined sugar you please. Use that. Fourth a cup. I think this combination is going to make it sweet enough. We don't need to add in like copious amounts of like maple syrup and stuff. Because we, you know, this is the holidays. We, we got enough sugar coming in. I'm going to add a little bit more maple sugar in here. Um, because that kind of got shaved off. Now, um, this gives the, this is, you know, these are hot chocolate cookies. So obviously we're going to throw in some marshmallows, but feel free to skip them if you're whole food plant-based and you don't do, you know, prepackaged stuff of any kind like that. Um, then you can just do extra chocolate chips. Okay. Alrighty. So we're mixing that together. And then next we want a half a cup of runny almond butter. And I'm going to show you the almond butter I'm using. I'm using creamy Trader Joe's almond butter, but whatever creamy almond butter that you have, use it. Half a cup. Enter a bowl here. This is it. Okay, so extra creamy. That's how you want it. You want it extremely runny. Um, and uh, then we're going to do a fourth a cup of any plant milk of your choice. I'm using almond milk. You could use uh, soy milk. You could use whatever plant milk that you desire. So this is almond milk. And almond milk um, is lower, actually, um, in fat than, um, say, I don't know, like oat milk. But whatever, whatever plant milk, you know, you choose. Okay, so mix that all together, see how we got that, you know, nice ready consistency. Now I'm just gonna add in a dash just a dash to make these Mexican hot chocolate cookies of cayenne pepper. Just a, little, just a dash there. Okay, all right, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna trust the process. Trust that these are gonna turn out amazing. Okay, so now that we've got all our wet ingredients in here, we wanna put our dry. So um, to the flour, make sure I have some flour here. You wanna add a half a teaspoon of baking soda in there. And then, I have one cup of whole wheat pastry flour. You could use plain flour. You could also use um, spelt flour. And then I have two third cups of dark, extra dark, rich cocoa powder. Whatever you have, use that. But I, I love the flavor and you know uh, that you get when you use extra dark cocoa powder in baking. So I'm just gonna mix all of this together. And then we're gonna add in, we want to add in a third of a cup of chocolate chips. And then you wanna add in a third of a cup of uh, marshmallows. Now, if you're a vegan, let's mix this until we get a nice dough. If you're a vegan, actually, in sale at Whole Foods, they had the Dandies uh, marshmallows, which happen to be vegan. So if you're vegan, 
You can use these um, or whatever kind you want to use, or you can just use regular marshmallows if you're not like funny about, you know, um, animal products or anything like that. And um, I'm going to be using these new Trader Joe chocolate chips. They're dairy free, 72 percent cacao. So we're going to do that again. If you don't want to use any marshmallows in this, just double the amount of chocolate chips. You'll have really chocolatey Mexican hot chocolate cookies, and they'll still be delicious. We just mix all this together and then start adding in. Oh, guys, I need to wear an apron. But you know, I'm kind of naughty like that. I don't like to wear my apron sometimes when I'm cooking. Better nice and stiff. So I'm going to add the marshmallows. Probably should have been added those. We're going to add the chocolate chips. If I can open the bag. If I can open the bag, we're going to add. And I mean, I don't measure. Who wants to measure chocolate chips? Like, I never measure my chocolate chips. But mix all this together as best you can. Okay. And then we're gonna get our cookie pan. Um, so I am totally out of parchment paper. I just greased my cookie sheet. And there we go. We're gonna scoop out balls. Roll them up, flatten them. Bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. About 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna have hot cocoa cookies. I will be back once they're baked and they're done. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw these in the oven. I mean, they are nice and hot out of the oven. And can I just say, good gravy, they're good. They look delicious. Alrighty, I'm going to take these out and we're going to let them cool and then we'll be back. Guys, can I just say, <laughs> these like s'more cookies, seriously. And the marshmallows are basically like exploding out of these cookies, like with all this yummy goodness. So let's taste one. I have waited too long and guys, watch, watch this action. I want you guys to see this. I just want you to see this action. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. I need a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Look, I want you to see that. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, got the piece. Mmm. 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 Mm. Guys, these really do stand up there with hot cocoa. Good gravy. Mmm. My chocolate chips were kind of, they weren't super sweet because they were 72%. They kind of balances it out. But the marshmallows. Oh, this is so good. Guys, you got to make these cookies. I have the marshmallows, guys. But if you don't have any, just add double chocolate chips. They're still just super, super good. I can't really taste the cayenne pepper. I think it's because I just did like a pinch. But super good. Gotta try this recipe out. It's Christmas time. Anyway, subscribe for more. I will see you guys again very soon. Celebrate Christmas, winter time. Let's do this.